ว่าเล่นหมูมันเข้าคืนคำเสร็จโอเค so Pilates let's go let's just start with a nice warrior pose so if you take the front knee in line with the ankle area and then slide the shoulder blades down just take a lovely breath in pull the shoulder blades together And then take that hand towards that inner calf. Bring the other one over. Nice big stretch. And back the other way. Keep that flowing. And again. Whoop! She says they always fall in this way. <laughs> and then up. Gorgeous day. Beautiful, isn't it? And then up. So the good thing is about the September October ones. I can't imagine that. I know you like Jet t o anyway, Nicola, but I've just yes. said, Ruth, we've got Joanne. We, Matt and I have just booked flights to Girona to go out for three days to wreck it. Fourteen ninety. Well, actually, it had gone up when we went last night. Twenty one ninety nine to go out. Fourteen ninety nine to come back. I mean, that's cheap, isn't it? Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. And two. Then my best friend said that this hotel and lives pretty much for six months over there, and she said, "You've got to stay here." I was like, "It's supposed to be a cheap weekend." <laughs> I know. I know. Always <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> and then just slide the shoulders down. Take a breath in, and another. Feel that beautiful deep stretch, and back, and again. Bring your feet back together. Okay, so we're just going to take the hand into our more common w i t e Not more common, yeah, more common w i t e Pull the shoulder blades together. So you're creating. A lot of people are getting really tight through the chest at the minute. And then back. And three, four. I'm off to see Andrea and Pacelli on Sunday night. Ooh, you know the opera, yeah? Got free tickets. Nice. Yes. So we've had him on this morning. Martin's going around. No, it's a mama. Stop it, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be good, won't it? Yeah. I'll be crying and he'll be laughing. And um, four, five, three, two, and one. Well done. And then just take some nice little close position squats. So make sure the hips are coming backwards, the calves connected, and down. So stick that bum. To that imaginary wall. Good. Oh, Joanne, I'd love to see your puppy. Nicholas just oh. got a new puppy. Is it? Is he? How old is it? Is it? Is it? Six months. He's gone. What? 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 We don't know for sure, but he looks. He's it's got a mix of like Bosnia. 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 Oh my God! Oh, Joanne is Collie Labrador. Just he looks like quite like, quite like a fox. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. He's lovely. Oh, and four. And nice that you've rescued him as well. Oh, I know. Two and one, and then nice wide position. Keep the shoulders down and down. And two, three, four, eight, eight, seven. Set. We're all jealous of Ruth. She's got four daughters. One's a GP. One's an early dentist. So she just needs a hairdresser and a beautician. I'm really excited for her. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. And for four, the chances of her becoming a hairdresser and beautician. Like, maybe some kind of scientist or famous <laughs> author. Lou, uh, Louisa. Two. And one. That's what she said. Louisa, little girl came home so cute. Not Louisa. Elsa. And she's a little one. I said, What do you want to do when you grow up? She's about seven. She said, I want to be an author. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my! 
And speak for the other one. Never mind being a beautician. She might like develop her own range of beauty products. Yeah, exactly. Like a scientist, too, right? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And one. Jude said to me the other night, Think you're about joining, applying for the plays. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, but I said, you're frightened of your own shadow, Jude. You'd be alright joining the plays. <laughs> and one. Well done. And then come just into, really just to mobilise the joints first. So just take one shoulder, uh, one arm up, and then do the same with the shoulder. So almost like you're stirring something with your shoulder and with your hip. Really nice to just keep that mobility going through the hip joint. And then we'll strengthen it and then stretch it. And six, the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. If you just switch, you'll be able to do the other side. And again, just circle. And two. And The other way, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and then just switch again into that lunge. We're not doing loads, but just take the weight slightly forward. Core connected, and again, if you need to hold on to anything you can do, otherwise we're just going to come down for 12. Just hold it, I know these are quite tough, but just hold it down, just have a little pull. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well done. Take the weight into the front knee, push that back heel down into the floor. Feel that stretch through the calf. Do you know one minute I'm warm and then cold and then I come back? Yeah, I'm hot now. And switch sides. So again, shoulders down, weight slightly forward, so don't be too upright action in that back. And by taking the weight, obviously keeping the back straight and taking the weight slightly forward, you work into the booty as well. And two, three, four. Are you mindful? Yeah, no. Is that one I brought? It's still weird. Oh, yeah. It's weird, isn't it, when you have an injury? It never, you know, never years fully. later, it's, yeah. Two, one, and then again, sorry, little pulse, keep the car tight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the weight into the front knee, just drive the heel down into that calf stretch. Take a lovely breath in, and out. Last one. Beautiful. And then just come to standing. Take a little bit of something on my computer. I don't know what. Remind me later. <laughs> and just have a little circle round. And we'll do a little bit of balance work, guys. And then we'll get down to the mat today. So let's try this one. Sometimes I'm good at this, sometimes I'm not. So spread, always spread the foot. So really push, almost like you're grounding into the air. So push that big toe particularly into the mat. Draw the shoulder blades down, length through the crown of the head. And just bring it into this position, keeping the core tight, and then take it backwards. Again, you can hold on if you need. Keep the core tight in just one, two, three, four. And then bring it back. Hold. Back again, don't lift it too high, just straighten it more than anything. One, two, three, four. Back again. Hold and back. One, two, three, four. Back again. Last one. One. So work in the glute, three, four. And then you always feel like you need a nice little back stretch there. And then just take that back heel down, take a breath in. 
and out. In. And out. Last one, breath in. And then straighten that front leg, chin to chest, hips back and just reach forward. If you like flexion, then most people are fine with flexion at some times with osteoporosis things. They advise you don't um, flex. But if you like flexion, you can obviously, instead of doing a hamstring like that, come down. Whoa, it's tight. God, <laughs> Take a breath in through the nose. And again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And out. Soften the front knee and gently up. Beautiful, well done. Let's come into that other leg. So again, up in this direction. So draw the tummy in. I'm desperate for a wee. See how strong my pelvic floor is. See if it will learn. <laughs> and then back. Keep the car tight. One, two, three, four. Back up. Hold. Just notice if you've got as much strength on this side. One, two, three, four. Or it feels easier. Hold. And back. One, two, three, four, back up, last one, take it out, one, two, three, four, well done, take it back, take a big breath in, and out, in, and out. Straighten that front leg, and again, either just reach forward and you get, you'll get feel a stretch in the back of the leg, or chin to chest, hips back, and gently float down. So, if like Ruth, you've been partying in farm with all the kids, your legs might be a little bit tight. <laughs> Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. Last one, breath in. Oh, soften that front knee and gently up. So we're just going to do, I've been doing these a little bit this week, but we're just going to grab hold of, so I'm going to give you a second to grab your resistance bands while I run for a quick way. <laughs> Sorry guys, come to the celebration of them. Okay, so do you want to Ruth? You definitely got one. Brilliant, yeah. So they're coming obviously these, see how that feels. So they're coming different resistances, so this is pretty heavy. So what you want to avoid, they're really good for turning, but what you want to avoid is kind of the shoulders creeping up like that. So try and maintain that shoulder placement. And then you just want, all we're going to do is just bring it up. And we'll do a nice stretch through them shoulders, Ruth. I know you always feel a bit tight through that bit. And then down. And again, if you've got a lighter one, you almost need to pull it out a little bit. So you're feeling the resistance. And again. And back. So, really easy to put these in your cases, ladies. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to do little goodie bags as well for people with like oh, essential oils and absolutely. it makes all that kind of stuff. To be fair, there's a way of going in September, October. You'd have done it once. 
She can tweak all of We it can all. tweak all that stuff, can't we? Yeah. Might, be, oh, we'll do that Might think that, oh, that lunch didn't work, or that Whatever. tag didn't work, or, yeah. We can work out, that's yeah. why me and Martin go, there's a medieval village an a kilometre away. Oh, so we can walk into there with a few little restaurants. So we might think, actually, we should have done a trip to, we should have had a wine tasting trip, or do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can just see what's around you yes. and what else. Yeah. yeah. And then bring it in, just turn your thumbs up and just pull back, the harder than the look. And then pull in, so squeeze the scapula. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. And that obviously works the upper back area. The stronger the upper back, the less pressure on the lumbar spine. Two and one. Well done, and very good. And then just take it behind your back. So again, with this one, you want to have, it really feels that it's actually quite tight. Bring your palms, uh, your hands together, guys. Don't do this, yeah? So the ribs are keeping in and down. The elbows are glued into your waist and you're trying that rotation. So the shoulders can obviously do lots of internal, external rotation. So we need to keep them strong in all the movements. And again. Yeah, my friend Jenny used to have an apartment in Girona for years. Yeah. But her husband's out there nearly all the time as a cyclist. She's usually on AJ, but she's currently just sent me a massive picture last night of the biggest screen I've ever seen. I've just signed on a beautiful villa with a pool. What, walk somewhere else? Yeah. How amazing. Yeah. In, in Girona? In well. Girona, about 50 minutes from the coast. So between Girona and the coast. So they've got less journey to the beach. Yeah, um, nice. Yeah. So he's, I think he's pretty much out there all the time. So they said we might as well have a look left. They've retired. Absolutely. Absolutely. Three, two, hi Jen, if you're watching later. And if a face would just love the girl like this big, and this beautiful oh, pool in the background, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, well done. Okay, now just take a stand on the band. So you want the kind of end of the band to just pop out from your feet. And again, keep upright. So we're just gonna, so we mobilise the shoulders, we're now strengthening them and your arms, obviously. And then just lift and lower. Lift, so you want a bit of resistance. If it feels really slack, take your hands a little bit further down. Good. Yeah, no, I think the way that it's set to early October will be beautiful. I mean, it's not a heated, it's heated anyway, the pool. Oh, well. But still, it's yeah, had a lot of sun on it, won't it? I could get more time to get open. I'll be, oh, yeah. I'll be certain, you know. Yeah. And Jean will be, I'll be able to get, because she just said, I'll give me a couple of days yeah. to see what I'm... Yeah. And five. I think as well, sometimes you've got a lot of people go away that may have turned over, so it's it, a, it is a quick turn. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Three. Two. And one, well done. And then actually leave it there, sorry guys, and just bring the hand across. So use the band in the opposite hand. Again, keep the shoulders down, pull the scapula together and just lift, keep that bend. Try not to straighten it too much. Yeah, so keep a little bit of a bend. And again, blend through the crown of the head. Shoulder hike 
and three. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Beautiful. One. Excellent. Okay, we'll leave them at that. We'll just do a nice stretch now. So go easy with this one. I always do this one first. Because if you've got shoulder immobility issues, the next one that I'm going to show you can be quite tough for people. Give it a bit more width on the band. If you want to try this one where your arms go straight. I've been doing these all week and it like, feels quite easy today. But often it can feel a little bit tight. And then again, just hold it on this next one. Take a beautiful breath in. Back up. And then just over. Just the other way. Well done, excellent guys. And then just take your down, throw it away. Take one hand up, one arm in front, into that deltoid stretch, pull it across. Oh, is that my doorbell? I'll just give you this next stretch, guys. Just hand on across and just pull it over. And then just repeat on the other side. One step. Who's had 
lots of issues. Um, her neck, bless her, really, she really struggles. So when in this position, it's really hard. She tends to do this. So if you can't control your own neck with a chin towards the chest that's nice and long, you can always use a ball. A ball's too much for me. It feels like it's doing this. Mm -hmm. Or just like a, a towel. Mm -hmm. So like a small towel can just feel really nice under. Uh, that's a bit. So just to give it a little bit. I mean, yours is pretty good, actually. Yeah. But you might just, even just that tiny bit of... Yes, so we're just going to really focus on trying to keep everything in neutral spine. So I just want you to bend your knees. So normally in a bridge, our feet would be a little bit closer to our bottom. So I want you to come as though you're doing a bridge and then just walk your feet away like a foot length. And then keep the length through. So we've just lengthened our chest. So really try not to let the shoulders hike in. So open up the chest. Yeah. Push the ribs in and down so they're together, so they're not coming up and away, which obviously takes the back away. So rib cage on the mat. And then that beautiful tray of whatever drinks you want to, for Ruth this weekend, it's water. <laughs> so think about that tray of drinks and you don't want to spill the water backwards into the belly button. And you definitely don't want to spill them forwards. So I want you to really work on that flat neutral. And then just bring the right leg up. And then imagine a hot curl on your tummy and you're drawing the belly button away from it and bring your left leg up. And try and maintain that same position at all times. And we're just going to take the right leg out and slowly back in. So if you've got a common complaint with, not complaint, that sounds awful, a common kind of thing that people often say with abdominal work is that their neck can kick in. Hmm. Yeah, so my friend DJ, she almost has to stop abdominal work because her neck bothers her more than the abdominals do. Mm -hmm. So if you get used to doing some work on the floor with the head down, it shouldn't kick in at all. There we go. So let's just do and like this, but we'll do maybe a few more reps today. Yeah, we'll do that. So if you are doing it in neutral, it's a real precise. So I can really feel my abdominals, even though it looks like you're not doing a great deal. Like an out breath, gently in. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Done. Excellent. And then just cross your ankles in and just bring the knees into chest. Have a good old stretch of that lower back. Yeah, there's a lot of Pilates. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, in a lot of exercises, some of which I don't often teach anymore because I do, people do. So like the hundred is one of the main oh, yeah. varieties and it's pretty tough, you know? Yeah, it is. You know? So you can do that. And there's a lot of stuff like this where you're up. Yeah. But it's a bit like it's the prize. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the prize type thing. And then just take the legs nice and long. So this time again, this is why sometimes I do feel if I don't think about it, my head would do this. So sometimes it's nice just to interlink the fingers and provide a little bit of support. Yeah. Again, put this time we're going to start in new in print. So the lower back's on the mat, but the important thing is the pelvic floor's engaged to draw the muscle that stops you weird in and up about 30%. And then just go into scissor. Only go as far as you can either maintain imprint or you're happy that your pubic bone's just edging forward a little bit into neutral. And again, nice and slow. Beautiful. 
let's do the text. Well done, lovely. And then again, just have a nice hug into your chest. You can smell food, Nick, can you? Food? Oh, gosh, I can smell it. You no. want to just scare you? Yeah. No, just me. <laughs> you want to just me? Yeah, yeah. And then just if you've got one, if you haven't, it doesn't matter, you can do exactly the same on the roller, uh, on the roller, on the mat. But sometimes just giving yourself a ball and just taking chin to chest and then chin to ceiling. Chin to chest. Has he given you loads of neck exercises on? No, I've got to do physio. Yeah. Uh, so somebody's ringing me next week, but that'll probably get you same old thing within six months, so I'm not really bothered. But to be fair, um, we've got a friend who, um, works i think he was a physio but he now sorts out physio appointments and yeah. he can get us mates rates as well yeah which is great so uh stephen went to see this guy through he cost him like 20 quid oh, for a session which is brilliant um and uh well, i might ring him because i'll get an appointment a lot yeah. quicker I think. you just have to i'll show you some baby you just have to be really really just with them you know and let them the, the neck can do so much yeah. movement did you say there's a disc issue? Did no, you, no, no. She just said I think it's neck related from from the like pain and stuff and the headaches and yeah. And I think she said I'm fairly certain from what you described that it's your neck. Um, oh bless. And then just think about just drawing some little circles on the ceiling. Go small. Your circles don't have to be huge. You might feel a little bit of on the needlework. Beautiful, well done. So let's just keep with that guys, keep with some really nice movement patterns. So we've done a little bit of resistance for the shoulders, but we're just going to now take the um, arms up towards the ceiling and just protract and retract the shoulder blade. So protract and retract. Again, really important, the muscles around the trapezius, the upper back muscles and the chest, keep moving. And then keep your palms facing each other and go into our lovely scissors. So ideally, if you're on the floor, most people will probably get thumbs down. Yeah, give yourself a bit of space. <laughs> you might want to come a bit towards me, Nick, so you can do the next okay. one. All right. So we circle. So this um, one, yeah, and then that circle in action. So you go into scissor. The hand that's at the head starts coming towards the leg, and the hand that's at the leg starts coming towards the head, and then you bring it back up to me. And again. Yeah, so just, I know I harp on about this sometimes, guys, but just remember, like, our movement patterns live in our joints. So if the joints can flex, extend, rotate, abduct, blah, 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 um, you really need to try and move them joints in all the movements. And two. And one. Well done. And then just gently... Bring your arms out to capital T, glue your legs together, just take a knees to the one direction, head to the other, and then back to centre, a little bit more for low back, and then again. Good. So we're going to do similar movements at the joint to work the muscles in our hips as we kind of did with our shoulder. So if you just come on, so our side leg works, so again, these will really strengthen the hips, prevent horrible hip replacements in my life. 
So lift the waist up, lengthen the top leg, lengthen the bottom foot so everything's nice and still. Yeah, and then just lift and lower nice and slowly. So obviously we're abducting away and then adducting it back in. So one of the joint movements that they can do. There we go. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then hold it. And then similar with the foot, we're just going to point it and flex it. Point, flex again, keeping the ankle area moving. And then just circle the ankle area. Circle back. And turn the foot in and out. It's a bit easier to do this when your legs up in the air. And then just hold, point, and then take it forward. One, two, so flex and extend. So point with the foot, one, two, flex as it comes back. Point, one, two, and flex. And just think about your hips like your pelvis is in cement, so it's not rocking forward and back. One, two, and back, hold it, and then we can do them circles. So the hips can obviously circle two. So two, so three, so four, and again, four, three, two, and one. Hold it, and then just eight little pulses. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and relax. Bruce obviously shattered today, so I don't want to be like, yeah. <laughs> and then put it in. <laughs> and of course I like Nick, so I won't make you do pants today. Oh, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> so just come onto your back, and again, let's just do our periformis stretch. So the leg you've just been lifting, use the same hand, push the knee in towards the opposite shoulder, Lift up, so again, that's why sometimes the ball feels really nice underneath the head. It just gives you a bit of leverage. And just grab, kind of above the outside ankle bone, and just pull it in. Oh, God, I'm tight today. So you want to keep the imagery of pushing on the outside lower thigh and sending that knee towards the opposite shoulder. Beautiful. And then the hand that's at the outside of the knee, take it out to shoulder height, move the other hand to the outside thigh, and then just switch, bring that foot down to the floor. Should you be able to really feel this there in your lower back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you thinking is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're feeling this in your lower back, I always do, it's beautiful, but I'm convinced that's why I don't get, ever get back here, because I do these a lot. So yeah, if you are, feel quite nice. Obviously. Yeah, if you are feeling this, then you need to be doing them. Sometimes people go, I can't feel the stretch. Most of the time, if someone's not feeling the stretch, it means that they're not really working the muscles. All right. Because muscles obviously tighten and shorten when you work them. Mm -hmm. So stretching will elongate them again. Mm -hmm. That's why it feels, ooh, do you know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then just grab the back of that leg and then just flex and point. Flex and point. Flex, point. And then flex it, turn the foot in and out. In and out. In and out. And that's why when your kids finish playing the game of footy or ooh, they've done sport, why the you know, people stop being able to touch the toes because they don't stretch after, mm -hmm. so the muscles become so shortened. Yeah, yeah. And tight. Well done. Beautiful. Excellent. So just take your arms backwards, guys. We're going to come over onto the other side. If you do want to, you can just now, if you want, just have a little sort of supine spine, or you can join me in four roll ups. So again, with the roll-up, you need to be careful that you, you're not coming up like this. Because if I came up like this, obviously my neck's shortened. Yeah. Yeah, so it's about a chin towards the chest. And then reach. Knee stack back. C-curve. And 
and sometimes that's why it's nice to actually not bring your arms backwards if you've got the strength to keep them slightly in front and then you're not risking that neck yeah and well done just stay up on that one and then bring it round and we're going to go into the side wow it's great Yes, it is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So again, soften the bottom knee. You can if you want, do it in the original one. I just love this position. Lift up that bottom waist and it just provides that stability for the hip. Lengthen the top hand and sorry, the bottom hand and the top leg. And again, point the foot and we'll just go to the lift. Hold and lower. Nice and slow. Lift, hold, and lower. Is the dog good with other dogs? Like, have you taken? He loves them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to go for a walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he loves them. We've got one next door, and we've got like a shed. It looks like got a gate going across the back, and he just sits looking longingly for their dog. Ah. Oh. Are you the right? So if I came from my bed and I'm. Yeah, the two hands, second you're one. still looking at them. Yeah. Where the, the, the one on the, as you're looking at them, the one on the right one. Yeah, right I thought you were. Yeah. 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 I thought I passed a couple of weeks ago and I thought I saw you in uh, your son in the bedroom. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then hold and just point and flex. Point, flex. We've had the guy next door being around this morning about this fence area and, you know, That's the owner or the builder. Right? The builder, yeah. like the yeah, project manager. Who is sending us loads of images? I still can't decide just what I want. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. When is that in two new weeks? A couple of months ago, I think it'll be. Okay. A long time, I know. And then one, two, I'll have our faffers in there, but you know. <laughs> and and to Ruth knows that. Um, and forward and back. She used to come to class, she said. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's still a pigsty outside, isn't it? Just wish yeah. they'd clear that front where it's a mess. I thought that this is more, most of the noisy work. And yeah, it's done. done now, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Three, two, I'm so I can walk on this last night. <laughs> and then hold, lengthen, and circle. Oh, the kills the circles out there, yeah. One, two, four, three, four. And a little pulse is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well done. Oh, that left one's back to the earth, and well, and then in. Well done guys, and then just come up onto your back again if you want to kind of put the ball underneath just to give you a little bit of leeway. So remember with piriformis, for me it's the most intense one, but some people like to do just normal figure four, it's an easy one to remember. Um, but if you're doing piriformis, the same hand pushes that inner knee towards the opposite shoulder, and sometimes today because I'm tight, I can already feel it, but you can just lift and just pull um, kind of that inner on the lateral side of the ankle you hold that and then you kind of push it inwards <laughs> done a lot of glimpses there bones of, uh, bones of steel imagine if you did this much exercise when you'd have been 20 you'd have been like oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> but you don't need to do it when you're 20 that's the thing exactly yeah I think Jude lifted weights for about two weeks and they were like, my God, like you ripped. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate you. Oh no. It's that gorgeous skin they have, isn't it? Oh, you know, dear. just like lasting. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, one thing's for certain though, Nick, it will happen to them one day. It will, it will. Be it will. The one 18 and gorgeous. Exactly. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. We'll be like prunes by then. <laughs> <all>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jude, I said something to Jude the other day about when you were, when you were thought of something, you went, oh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be a mum. I'm like, great, thanks oh, for that. Oh, that would have a bit. It's like, well, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, man. <laughs> I had a lovely kiss. Oh, yeah. And then flex and five. 
you get a, as well? I can't remember his name. Who said to me, um, "Oh, can you remember? Did you used to do this in the old days?" Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's yeah. awful. Yeah. I once watched something like a horrible history. I was watching that once. I mean, Finn were only about seven, and he went, "Do you remember this?" <laughs> Finn, it's like yeah. 1980. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. How old do you think I am? And then circle. <laughs> and circle back. Funny. <laughs> and then just gently come down. And then just, again, just take that one um, leg and just cross the knees really quite tightly. And then take your arms out to capital T. And again, just bring that top foot down to the floor and turn your head. The other way. So very similar to the supine one we did before. Take a breath in, let the belly rise. Draw the tummy in. And back to centre position. Well done on the other side. So if EPI do this one more than the other one, this, this is nice, nice stretch, isn't it? Yeah. And then again, inhale, let the belly rise. Now breath release. And again. Last one. Well done. Excellent. And then just take the feet either side of the mat. And we're just going to literally internally rotate the right foot, hip, and let the knee follow. And just notice, does the knee get to the floor? If it does, great, really good mobility. And again, the other side. So it might be different on one side more than the other. My left one just about, but it's not as good as the right. And you just, you can kind of feel, do it again. Almost feel that hip area really stretching out. Very gentle stretch, but really effective. And again, you just need to try and ensure that you move from the hip and not the knee. And then just take the soles of the feet together, walk the shoulder blades down. And just lie like that. Practice a couple of little belly breaths. So inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath. Draw the tummy back in. And again, inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. And then bring your feet so the hip distance apart. Walk the shoulder blades down. Walk the heels a little bit closer to the bum so your shins are direct underneath the knees. And let's just do four mobility bridges. So take a breath in through the nose. Close your eyes. Gently roll that lower back into the mat like you're making an imprint in the sand. And then start lifting your bottom. Lifting your lower back. The mid back. Sending the knees nice and long. Just really opening up the hip again. And again, take a big breath in at the top. Keep the ribs closed and gently restart. All the way through in front. And let's go again. Breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting up again, lifting the bum, the lower back, the mid back, sending the knees nice and long. Again, hips are high. Slow lower. Keeping the joints really lubricated and two more. So again, little pelvic imprint, gently up. Hips are high, the knees are long, you're on your shoulder blades, breath in through the nose. And slow down. Let's practice three, but that one guys. Lengthen one leg, bring the right knee into chest. Feel that deep stretch in the lower back. 
What day is your wife going to give birth? Monday's and Tuesday's. Oh, you so much. My friend Zoe came to hit on my other doorbell just as I was starting to hit on Wednesday and she was like, ah oh, yeah, I thought I'd better get this ass into gear again. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other way. Oh, so excellent. I'm going to have to tell Zoe Bronson as well because she, oh, she, she was hoping to, but she was just waiting to find out. Well, we'll I think you already sold out for us. She'll open now. <laughs> I know, that would be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Because it'd be less, less work because everything's kind of sorted, isn't yeah. it? Really? Just a few little tweaks, I guess. And then gently back and softly up. Nancy's like, you're never going to be here, are you, Joe? <laughs> Wonder if I have Langill and Nick and Thank you, Audrey. I must have had to go.